I'm so grateful to do keynote speaking all over the world. I do it for local, I do it regional, I do it national. Um, but one thing I also love to do is raise money for nonprofits, in particular nonprofits that I care about. Recently I had the privilege of speaking in Illinois for a nonprofit that helps women escape domestic violence. And before they met with me, they said, Annie, we really need to raise some money. In fact, somebody told us that if we can raise 10,000, we will actually match it with another 10,000. I said, well, how often have you raised 10,000? They said, oh, we've never raised 10,000. But we believe in you, Annie. I was like, all righty, no pressure. And so I decided, what can I tell people about why it's so important to give? Well, one thing I know about giving is that it's great to receive, but did you know that people that give money, time, or energy have more joy in their life than those that don't? But they asked me, could you tell a piece, a piece of your story? And the truth is I was raised by a single mom, seven kids with an unhealthy um, alcoholic father. And through that journey, I became a single mom many years later and I watched really sad stories. Women feel victimized and abused by people because they didn't believe they were worth more. But in this case, they asked me, teach us about how we can help support women from all over the United States to go undercover, to find themselves and gain strength, and then give back to the community. I recently got to do debrief with that client, and I said, tell me, did we raise 10,000? Did we get the $10,000 match? And she said, Annie, in eight minutes, you raised over $54,000 for an organization. So sometimes nonprofits say, what's different about you? Why do people give when you come in? You don't sell things, you don't do this, you don't do that. Well, I tell a story. And it's amazing the power of a story to really help someone see a picture beyond themselves. And so today I just want to share a little bit of that story with you. You see, when I was 23 years old, I was a single mom, but I worked for a financial institute. I got hired for $6.25 an hour, entry level, thinking I just want to get in the door, and once I get in the door, I can do anything. I'm unstoppable. And that's what I did. I got in the door of a financial institute as a single mom making $6.25 an hour. A few years later, after three promotions, later turning into nine promotions, I was getting more money. But though I still didn't have a lot of money as a single mom, I parked six blocks away. And because I parked six blocks away, it was cheaper for parking. Then through that process, I would always walk by a homeless shelter. People would sit outside and wait, hoping they would have a place to sleep that night. Well, one day I went into work and they announced today is the day of bonuses. Back then I worked in institutional trading and I was given a bonus every three months and that was one third of my income. Well, on this day, 23 years old, single mom, I get a check, $2,500. I mean, have you ever seen $2,500? I mean, I felt like a millionaire, $2,500. But the thing about me is I'm a woman of faith. And I try to process everything that I receive with God. So what do you think, God? Do I gotta give some of this away? Well, you sure do. 10%, it says 10%. I'm good with 10%. God said, nope, I want you to give more away. See, every day, Annie, you walk past the homeless people to walk to your corporate job, but you know what it's like to be homeless. You moved 83 times by the time you were 18. You know what it's like to be hungry. Those people, they're waiting in line for just a bed. I said, all right, God, I'll give some away. 10%? God laughed. God ever laugh at you? He laughs at me all the time. So he laughed, and I said, okay, fine. 20? 30? I could feel that the pressure to still give more. Fine, I'll give 50%. Nope, that wouldn't be enough. I want you to give it all away. The biggest check I had ever received in my life as a single mom needing that money, I want you to give it all away. So what did I do? I never liked to do anything alone, so I called a girlfriend who also was a single mom. I said, listen, meet me in this parking lot downtown Minneapolis. She said, I'm on my way. What are we doing? I said, just get here. But before she got there, I stopped at the bank. I took my $2,500 check, the most money I'd ever seen in my life, and I brought it to the bank. I said, turn this into 50 $50 bills. I put it in 50 red envelopes. My girlfriend and I took our sweet little boys while holding their hands and walked four blocks down to where the homeless shelter was. One by one, we gave each person in line an envelope filled with $50. Now some of you may say, Miss Annie, what if they use it for drugs or alcohol? What if they spend it wrong? Have you ever spent money wrong? I sure have. But I want you to know that's not what happened. 
Instead, I started to walk away with my girlfriend and tears were flowing down because I felt so grateful to have enough money to give it away. But then a mother, she chased after me. This was many, many years ago. She chased after me and she was crying and she said, may God bless you today and always. She said, I have three little boys and they don't have shoes. And because of your generous gift of $50 today, I'm gonna go buy my kids shoes. And after that, I might even have enough for McDonald's. You see, I think that giving is a gift to yourself. Because let me tell you, since that day I've been blessed. Oh, have I had tragedy? More than many of you can count. But have I been blessed? Oh, indeed. And there is nothing that brings me greater joy than giving to someone else in need. I've been there, I've received, it's my turn to give. And one thing I know about giving is it might make us a little uncomfortable, but I always ask myself, so if I tip this person 20 or 50 or $100, it might be a little uncomfortable, but could it make a difference in their life? What an honor to be in a place in my life today that I can give back. When I work with nonprofits, I invite them to give beyond themselves and become all that they're meant to be.